subtracting up to 100. We are going to do subtraction up to 100. We see the problem 98 minus 47. For each of these problems, I'll show you three ways of solving it. We will use the string of beads, by which a number is split up and in which numbers are rounded to the nearest 10. So let's first take a look at the string of beads. We always have first five red beads and then five black beads. So five and five adds up to 10. So now let's count further. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So each string of beads has 50. And 50 plus 50 equals 100. So first we need to find 98 on the string of beads. So since we know that there are 100 beads, if we subtract 2, we will get 98. 100 minus 98 is 2. So now we need to subtract the 47. So let's first subtract these three beads here. So we'll mark it off, minus 3, and now let's count to 40. 10, 20, 30, and 40. So minus 40. So now we have minus 40 and minus 3, which is 43, but we need 47. So let's minus 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 47. So now we know that one string of beads is 50 and plus 1, so the answer must be 51. Now let's try another way of solving this problem. So we're going to round up the number to the nearest 10. So again, 98 minus 47 equals something. So let's round up 98 to 100. So we must add 2 to make it 100. And if we add 2 to the 98, we must add 2 to the 47. So 47 plus 2. So 98 plus 2 equals 100, and 47 plus 2 equals 49. Now, again, let's round up 49. So it's 100 minus 50 equals 50. And since we didn't subtract 49 but 50, we need to add that one again. So 50 plus 1 equals 51, the same answer as the other one. OK, so let's solve this problem in yet another way. Again, we will write out 98 minus 47. Now let's round 98 to the nearest 10 again, like we did on the other problem. So we must plus 2. And now we're going to break up the 47 into 40 and 7. So let's just keep the 98 and then minus the 41st which is 58, and then 58 minus the 7, remember, from the 47. So that still leaves us with 51. So remember, you can solve these problems in many ways and choose the way which you think is easiest. So let's go ahead and try another problem. 63 minus 33. First, we'll solve this problem with the help of the string of beads. So, we need to find 63. Since we know the first string of beads is 50, we need 10 and 3 more. So, it's 63. And now we need to minus the 33. So, there's 3 right here, and then 30 more. So, 10. 20, and 30. 
So now we just need to count the remaining. So 10, 20, 30. So 30 is the answer. So 63 minus 33 equals 30. Now let's try this in another way again. So again, 63 minus 33. So let's round this up or round it down. So we'll subtract this time since it's closer to 30 and 60. So we have 60 minus 30 also equals 30. Okay, and now we'll break up the number. So 63 minus 33. So we'll break up 33 into a 3 and a 30. So 33. So first, let's subtract 63 from 30. So 33. And now the 3. 33 minus 3. So 33 again minus 3 is 30. So as you can see, you can solve these problems in many ways. So just try and choose the way that you think is easiest. Great work and keep it up with your next math problems.